Hey kids, I'm Jeremiah, and this is the Celebration Volleyball Team. And we're here to give you an amazing episode of Celebration Online today. That's, That's right. right, you're gonna see me, the assistant of 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 the coach. And you'll meet Joe. And you'll meet Joe. Joe who, you might ask? Or you'll find out later. That's right, see you then, kids. Check it out. Giving all my praise for this day you've made You're amazing, forever reigning, my God There's no one like you, none beside you, my God Everywhere I go, I will lift your name up In all I do, I will give you praise Everywhere I go your name up, I lift 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 your name up, I come to you with a sacrifice for the living. Every night and day, or to give you praise. You're amazing, forever reigning, my God. There's no one like you, none beside you, my God. Everywhere I go, I will lift your name up. In all I do, I will give you praise.
Hey kids, I'm Pastor Justin, and we've been teaching on redemption and how Jesus saved us from sin. And we have all kinds of life-saving equipment up here on the stage. And see, my daughter is even up here on the lifeguard stand. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But let me share a little bit about what we've been talking about. We've been talking about redemption, which is the act of being saved. Then we talked about barriers. Now, sin is a barrier, and Jesus removed that barrier of sin. And then we also talked about how we are a new creation in Christ. But let's go to today's memory verse found in 1 John chapter 3 and verse 2. If you have your Bibles, open up your Bibles and go there with me into 1 John chapter 3 and verse 2. And it says, I'm going to read the first part. It says, Beloved, now we are children of God. 1 John 3, 2. And so that's talking about how we are children of God. And so when Jesus saved us, then now we become a part of the family of God. And see, Jesus wants you to become a part of the family of God. When you accept Jesus, you become a part of his family. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I've got my daughter here up on the lifeguard stand. Lexi, I want you to come down and get on my shoulders. I'm going to hold your legs and let you come on down. Yep. Good job. Good job. All right. And so now Lexi is on my shoulders. Now you can see Lexi. Lexi looks a lot like me. And you know, Lexi's name is Lexi Flowers. And my name is Justin Flowers, and we are a part of the same family. And when you get saved, you become a part of God's family. And so just like Lexi, whenever we're at home, Lexi's free to go wherever she wants. Lexi can go in the refrigerator when she wants to. She can go get in the bed. She can go get in the, on the couch. She can go outside on her swing set and have a good time. And so she's free to do what she would like to do at the house because she's a part of my family. Now, a stranger might not want to come and just go into my refrigerator because they're, in a, they're, they're a stranger. They're not, they're not a part of my family. But Lexi's welcome to go into the refrigerator because she's a part of my family. We read about a story in Matthew chapter 3 where Jesus is baptized. John, he goes to John the Baptist and John the Baptist baptizes Jesus. And when he comes up out of the water, all of a sudden, the, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit descends like a dove. And all of a sudden, God's voice calls from heaven and says, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Well, kids, I want to encourage you. One day we're going to get to heaven and I want to hear, hear this, these words from God. And it says, well done, good and faithful servant. And see, God wants you to be a part of his family. We'll watch all the way to the end of today's episode for today's secret code. <laughs> Well guys, that was a fantastic game. Great save, Keon. Nice job, Peyton. Nice job, Emily. Nice job, Olivia. Nice job. Great save, man. Thanks. Great save. Nice fight. All right, so guys, we've got a great team going here, right? We've got some awesome plays. We are undefeated, okay? And by the way, I am the assistant to the assistant to the assistant coach, if you did not know that. Um, we're looking to add some new players. Anybody got any ideas? I don't have anybody. Nobody? No. How about you, Emily? No. Olivia, no? How about that Brian kid? I've seen him a couple times. Is he on any team? Do you know? I did notice him. I did. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's been hanging out around here somewhere. He's always over there playing football oh, or basketball there, there or whatever. One of those. Oh, over there? Okay. Hey, Brian! Get over here, man. Hey, man, are you on any volleyball team? No. You're not? No. Uh, you want to be on our volleyball team? Uh, sure. Can, can, you, uh, can you do a ball? Yeah, I'm impressed. Here, give him that ball real quick. Let's see what you can do. Back up, everybody. Back up. Back up. Not you. Back up, everybody. Back up. Right. Yeah, that way. Let's see what you can do. That was pretty good. That was great. It could, yeah. That was good. That was good. It's teachable. Yep. He reminds it, me of old Joe. Joe who? Joe Mama. You got oh. me. <laughs> you got me, bro. All right. Well, Brian. It's teachable, okay? You've got a chance, but uh, we're gonna have to work with you. But would you like to be part of our team? I would love to. Awesome, man. See kids, that's how easy it is to invite somebody to church. 
It doesn't take a lot of work. And, and like the Bible says in John 3, 2, Beloved, we are the sons of God, okay? So it's that easy to invite someone to church, okay? All right, kids, you ready? Let's go lead Brian in the prayer of salvation, and let's go play some ball! Let's go! Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey there, kids. Celebration Coach here. Just wrapping up uh, volleyball practice. Coach volleyball, you know, in my spare time on top of basketball, football, and of course my favorite, baseball. I'm glad you got to see that uh, story there with Brian and how he became a part of the team. You know, my assistant coach, I, I don't get to talk to him very much. He's my assistant to the assistant to the assistant to the assistant. It's way down the line, way down the line. He's some far distant assistant coach there. but. You know, that example with Brian joining our team is exactly what happens when you accept Jesus. You become a part of God's team or you become a part of God's family. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2 says, Beloved, now we are children of God. And that applies to you. When you accept Jesus, you are a child of God and you become a part of His family. Well, kids, until next time, Celebration Coach here. We'll see you later. Today's Bible story is found in Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 through 17. Long ago, there was a virtuous young woman named Mary. She was chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus, the one who would grow up to be the Savior of the world. While she was pregnant with Jesus, she found out that her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant too. She was overjoyed that they were going to have babies who would be the same age. And so, it happened that Elizabeth had John, and Jesus was born soon after. John and Jesus were not just connected because they were cousins. God had a special job for both of them. John's mission was to get the world ready for what Jesus was going to do. When John got older, that is exactly what he did. He began to preach boldly. He told people that they needed to change how they were living. He said, get ready. You need to be rescued from your sins, and the rescuer is coming. Stop running from God and run to him. John's message worked. People realized that they did need to be rescued from their sin, and they came from all around to listen to John preach. Many who listened decided to get baptized. So many, in fact, they started calling him John the Baptist. When John baptized people, he dipped them all the way underwater and brought them back up, showing that they wanted to wash away their old way of living and have a fresh start living a life with God. One day, while John was baptizing people in the Jordan River like he normally did, he looked up and saw a man walking down to the water's edge. John could not believe his eyes. It was him, the one he had been telling people about. This was the rescuer. John pointed at him and said, Look, he's here, the Lamb of God. He is going to take away the sins of the whole world. A hush fell over the crowd. And when they turned around, they saw Jesus walking towards the water. As Jesus got to the edge of the water, everyone watched with anticipation, wondering what was going to happen next. Then Jesus did something that surprised everyone, even John. He stepped right into the dirty Jordan River. Everyone was quiet as Jesus walked right up to John and asked, Will you baptize me too? John could not believe what he was hearing. Jesus is the one, the rescuer, he thought. Why is he asking me to baptize him? Should it not be the other way around? John did not feel worthy of baptizing Jesus because he knew this was the Son of God. He looked at Jesus and said, I'm nothing special. You should be baptizing me. Jesus replied, This is what God wants me to do. They walked out to the middle of the river, and John baptized Jesus, just like he had done with the others who were now standing on the banks of the river watching. When Jesus came up out of the water, the clouds in the sky parted, and a bright light straight from heaven shone down upon him. The Holy Spirit of God came down like a beautiful white dove and landed gently on Jesus. Then everyone heard a loud voice boom from the sky. 
It was the voice of God the Father, and he said, This is my son. I love him and I'm proud of him. Listen to what he says. Everyone in the crowd saw this happen, and they heard what God said about Jesus. They knew in their hearts that the words John had been preaching were true. Jesus really was the one who came to rescue the whole world. For Jesus, getting baptized by John proved his obedience to his Father, and it showed everyone that he was willing to do anything that God asked him to do. Because Jesus was willing to do this, God knew that one day soon he would be willing to fulfill his ultimate purpose, to lay down his own life to save the entire world. Hey kids, well we had so much fun today teaching you about God's plan of redemption, and that was Jesus. Because of Jesus, we can be free from sin, from poverty and sickness. All we have to do is make a choice for Jesus. You know, if I was swimming and I was distressed and I was worried about drowning, someone could help me by throwing me this life preserver in the water. And then I have a choice. Am I gonna grab onto the life preserver and be saved or not and possibly drown? Well, kids, of course, I'm going to choose to be saved and grab onto this life preserver. Well, Jesus is like this life preserver. God has given us this plan of redemption. He's given us Jesus to save us from our sins. Kids, there's a real heaven and there's a real hell, and we have a choice, and we need to choose Jesus. We need to grab onto that life preserver that is Jesus and get born again and choose an eternity in heaven. If you have not chosen Jesus, I would like to encourage you to pray the prayer of salvation with me today. If you're ready, let's get started. Father God, I thank you for Jesus. I believe that Jesus came to this earth to live, to die, and to rise again just for me. I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior, and I accept him into my heart today. I ask you to wash away all my sin and to make my heart brand new and clean again. I thank you, Father, for saving me. I thank you for making me a Christian. I thank you for giving me Jesus. I love you, I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, kids, if you prayed that prayer, if you prayed the prayer of salvation, you have just grabbed on to the life preserver and you are now saved. You are born again. You are a Christian. And congratulations. That is the best decision you will ever make. Well, we love you and we can't wait to see you until next time. Bye. Today's secret code is when we are born again, we become children of God. for watching Celebration Online. Kids, I want to encourage you to make sure that you're in church. At every one of our Family Worship Center locations, we have an amazing children's ministry that you can be a part of. If you live here in Florence, come see us. You can meet my husband, Pastor Steve, and see myself over here in Celebration. If you live in Columbia, please connect with Pastor JT and Miss Natalie at their church. And if you live in Georgetown, please go see Pastor Justin and Miss Joanna at their church. And finally, if you live in the Sumter area, we invite you to connect with Family Worship Center Sumter online. You can visit fwcsumter.com to be a part of our online community as we begin building Family Worship Center's newest location. Kids, come see us in celebration at Family Worship Center. We have a great time every Sunday.